How to connect a push button to WLED. Adding a button to control your WLED lights is a simple process that allows for any command within WLED to be executed. The button can be configured to turn the lights on or off, set a specific effect, and more. To start, verify your button is connected to the microcontroller input pin as shown. The recommended configuration is to use an external pull-up resistor on the input pin with the button connected to pull the pin low to ground. The internal pull-up resistor of the microcontroller may also be used if it is available. Once your hardware is ready, you can begin setup in the WLED user interface. Go to the Config tab and select LED Preferences. In the hardware setup heading below the LED outputs, there will be a section where you can configure the button. The number of usable buttons shown here will vary depending on the microcontroller you use. For an ESP32 board, you should see up to four usable GPIO pins. In this example, I am using a WeMOS D1 Mini ESP8266 board, so there are only two available. Choose the appropriate pin number and button type for each row. Remember to check your microcontroller datasheet or pinout guide, because the pin numbers might not match as you would expect. At this point, your button should work to turn the LEDs on and off. Now, if you would like to change the actions for the button, go back to the Config tab and select Time and Macros. Here you will find a section called Button Actions. This is where you can configure specific presets according to their assigned ID number. Notice here for push buttons, you have the option to enter a specific preset for short presses, long presses, or even double presses. For switches, you have two options for either when it is turned off or turned on. The default value is zero, which will simply turn the lights on and off while keeping the previously active effect. Enter the specific preset you would like to activate here, and then click Save at the top. Keep in mind that this feature is not limited to only buttons. You could connect a motion sensor, all effect sensor, or anything else you can think of. In the next tutorial, I will explain how you can configure the presets in WLED with this button in order to scroll through a list of different effects. If you would like to see how I built this button, check out this video here. Thanks for watching.